Hi, folks. Eagles beat reporter Mike K here from NJ Advanced Media, and this is your latest update from the No Huddle Show podcast. The Eagles lead the NFC East following a 25-20 win over the San Francisco 49ers in Week 4. Philadelphia produced its first three turnovers on defense this season against the 49ers, including a pick six by linebacker Alex Singleton. Quarterback Carson Wentz bounced back from a trio of awful performances as he used his legs to guide the offense in critical situations. Eagles coach Doug Peterson showed faith in his offense, attempting an immediate two-point conversion off the team's first touchdown. He later attempted two successful fourth-down conversions in the second half. The Eagles now own a half-game lead over the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington football team heading into Week 5. Eagles quarterback Carson Wentz was able to lead the team to its first win of the season with a bunch of no-name weapons on offense. Wide receiver Travis Flugum produced the highlight of the game by catching a beautiful Wentz pass for a 42-yard touchdown on Sunday against the 49ers. Wide receivers John Hightower, Greg Ward, and tight end Richard Rodgers were also heavily involved in the passing game. With the running game struggling, Wentz was able to guide the offense on three scoring drives with his legs and his arm. Australian lineman Jordan Melotta made his first career start at left tackle against the 49ers on Sunday. Melotta has only been playing football for three years, but earned positive reviews following his first start on Carson Wentz's blind side on Sunday night football. With Jason Peters on injured reserve with a toe injury, Melotta will be the Eagles' starting left tackle for the foreseeable future. That experience could help the Eagles down the road, especially when it comes time to manage the cap situation in the offseason. The Eagles have four players eligible to return from injured reserve in Week 5. Safety Will Parks and wide receiver Quez Watkins have been eligible to return since Week 4. Defensive end Vinnie Curry and cornerback Craig James, who were injured in the season opener against Washington, became eligible this week. Watkins had his 21-day practice window activated last week. Parks, Curry, and James can begin that process at any time. The Eagles will travel to Pittsburgh to face the Steelers on Sunday. The Steelers are coming off an impromptu bye week after their Week 4 game was canceled due to the Tennessee Titans' COVID-19 outbreak. Pittsburgh comes into the Week 5 matchup undefeated at 3-0. Kickoff at Heinz Field will begin at 1 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. For all the latest Eagles news, turn to the sports section of NJ.com and download the No Huddle Show podcast wherever podcasts are available. ACAST powers some of the world's best podcasts. Here's an episode we're listening to. Hey, I'm Elamine Abdul Mahmoud from the weekly politics podcast, Party Lines. For the next two months, on Tuesdays, we're excited to bring you the U.S. elections edition. It's called Party Lines, Party in the USA. So tune in weekly and get a fresh perspective on an election that the whole world is watching. Find Party in the USA episodes in the Party Lines feed right now on CBC Listen or wherever you get your podcasts. ACAST, A-cast. 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 recommends. <laughs>